Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, the Director and Founder of the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic. Today we'll be discussing the four stages of a migraine attack. Now migraine affects approximately 1 billion people in the world, which is approximately 15% of the worldwide population. Now the stats show that women are three times more susceptible to developing migraines than men, and it can also have an effect at, of an individual at any stage of their lives, but is more common before the age of 40. Also, half of all migraine sufferers also have a family history of migraines. So, what are the four main stages and the signs and symptoms of a migraine attack? So, we'll be discussing the four stages. Now, it is important to note that not all sufferers experience all four stages or all of the signs and symptoms listed. Um, and also, attacks from an individual can vary greatly from the next as well as from other sufferers. So the four stages are basically, number one is the prodrome phase. The second stage is the aura phase. The third stage is the attack phase. And the fourth stage is the postdrome phase. So let's talk about the first phase, which is the prodrome phase. Usually before the onset um, of a migraine attack, the sufferers will feel this prodrome phase and they may feel subtle changes to their mood and their body, either several hours before or even up to a few days before a migraine occurs. Now the signs and symptoms of a migraine prodrome phase are these. You may feel irritable, you may feel neck stiffness, you may also have food craving, you may also have uh, a high thirst level, uh, and you're more, or, or more, you may feel also constipated as well. Other levels of uh, symptoms are you can either feel unusual high energy levels and excitability, or either low energy levels and even depression. You may feel uncontrollable yawning and tiredness, and even difficulty in concentration. So this is the prodrome phase and these are the signs and symptoms that you may feel before the actual onset of a migraine attack. The next stage is the aura phase. Now migraine aura symptoms usually occur immediately before the onset of a migraine attack and it usually commences and lasts for approximately 10 to 30 minutes before the actual attack commences. Now during this phase sufferers may commonly develop visual disturbances such as seeing flashing lights. Other visual disturbances may include black or dark spots in the visual field which can, which can actually engulf the entire visual field whereby sufferers can have temporary blindness in the one eye. Sufferers also may develop tunnel vision whereby the peripheral visual fields can become quite blurred on the outside and also other aura symptoms may include uh, altered sensations to the skin, which are which is sensory disturbances, or even altered bodily movement patterns, which is classified as motor disturbances, or even altered in speech issues, which is called verbal disturbances. So we did discuss about visual disturbances, whereby um, sufferers can see bright lights or dark spots. They may see flashing lights in the visual field. They may even feel, see these jaggedy, uh, jaggedy lines um, and even shapes in the visual field. Or they can become temporary blind in the one eye. Sensory disturbances such as developing symptoms like pins and needles or numbness in the face or down the neck or shoulders or arms or even down the legs can also occur. Motor disturbances such as having a droopy face where the face droops down one side of the face or they may even feel weakness in the arms and legs as well. Aphasia, which is basically speech or language disturbances whereby sufferers may have difficulty in speaking and even articulating their words. So this is Phase two, which is the aura phase, where they not only get aura symptoms, which can be visual disturbances, but remember they can get sensory disturbances, motor disturbances, and even speech disturbances as well. The third phase 
is the migraine attack phase. Now, if signs and symptoms of the migraine aura is usually left untreated or is unable to be treated, then this is when the migraine attack will commence and can last on average anywhere between 4 hours to 72 hours. The severity of the attack phase varies from person to person and is regarded uh, on a um, scale of either moderate to severe pain scale rating. Now, during the attack phase, the migraine features are listed as these. So you can have moderate to severe pain that is usually located on one side of the head um, or is always stronger on one side of the head. Now, the pain can actually shift from one side to the other as well. Pain is regarded as a throbbing to pulsating quality type pain. And you may also continue to have high, heightened sensitivity to light, which is photophobia. You can be very sensitive to sound, which is phonophobia. And you can, uh, can also be very sensitive to smell, which is osmophobia. Nausea and vomiting can continue to occur and is a strong... Um, and noise and vomiting is a strong rating scale of having migraines. Aura symptoms may also continue to occur, which is visual, sensory, motor or speech disturbances. Migraines can also be worsened by physical activity. You may also feel dizziness and vertigo sensations. Concentration loss can be continued, confusion, dehydration, depression, anxiety attacks or even panic attacks can occur. Di diarrhea or constipation can, can continue to occur as well, and even neck pain, nasal congestion, and even hot flushes or chills can occur during these migraine attack phase. So during the migraine attack phase, not only can you get pain, severe pain in the head, but you can get all these other unusual symptoms that occur during the attack phase as well. Now the last phase is called the post drone phase. This is the fourth phase. And it's usually um, occurs whereby sufferers feel very washed out or tired or they feel lethargic. And some even report of feelings which are similar to a hangover effect. Now the severity and the intensity of feeling washed out or the post drone phase usually depends on the duration of the migraine attack and its severity. So typically, if a migraine only lasts for around four hours, the sufferer, then the sufferers may not feel a significant post drone effect. However, if a sufferer has a severe attack, which lasts over three days, with constant nausea and vomiting during that entire time, then it can actually take a few days to obtain full recovery. So sufferers may have an attack which may last for three days, but then can have another three days to try and recover. So by the end of the stage, it may take up to a week to recover from an actual migraine attack. Now, the signs and symptoms of a post drone may include the following, which is fatigue, they may feel lowered intellectual levels, they, have, they may have lowered mood levels, especially depression or feelings of being um, having heightened euphoria symptoms. You may also have poor concentration and poor comprehension levels as well. So this is the four phases of a migraine. Um, now remember, it is important to note that not all sufferers may experience all of these four phases and also attacks can vary greatly from one person to another and also from one attack to the other. Well, I hope you've enjoyed in this informative session on the four phases of a migraine attack. My name is Bertrand Dirk, the doctor and founder from the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic, and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Thank you.